Hi everybody, welcome. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Emily. I work for the Mooresville Public Library and I'm going to record a um, uh, song and rhyme story time without the stories. Um, and I'll have some suggestions for books that you can get at the library along the way. So we're gonna start like we always do with our welcoming song. It's called We Clap and Sing Hello. So everybody get their clapping hands ready? Ready? Okay. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends it's story time. We clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends it's story time. We wave and sing hello. Get your stomping feet. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends it's story time. We stomp and sing hello. We'll clap one more time. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends it's story time. We clap and sing hello. Nice job everyone. Thanks so much. All right. So today we're going to talk about cars and trucks and things that go. Lots of fun stuff out there. Has anybody been in a car lately? Where have you gone? Did you go to the store? Did you go to a park? Maybe? Maybe um, go to pick up some food or something, something like a treat, like ice cream. Very fun. Some of us haven't been in a car for a while and that's okay too. Um, but I'm gonna suggest that you take an imaginary journey in the car with a book called Vroom. This is by Barbara McClintock and it's a really great picture book about a little girl who puts on her helmet and gloves, hops into her race car and takes off. And she goes through all different kinds of um, uh, landscapes. So she goes through mountains and deserts, uh, across a river, through a city, all the way back to her bedroom. And there's lots of really fun things to look at in the pictures in this book. So definitely take some time to look through it really closely. And it's um, written, like I said, by Barbara McClintock, who's an author, but she is also a race car driver. So I thought that was really cool. So this is Vroom. You can see all the people and all the cars. And that is a really great book to read if you like to read about cars. So we're gonna do a rhyme, and this one is called Green Means Go. So we're, we're in the car, sometimes at different streets, there will be stoplights that tell us what we should do. So there are three colors that you can um, see in the stoplights, and they mean different things. So green means it's okay to go. Yellow means you should go slow or be very cautious. And red, what does red mean? That's right, red means stop. And so when we do our rhyme, we're gonna go, and you can like run in place when you go. And when we say slow or yellow, we're gonna go in slow motion. And when we say stop, we're gonna do the American Sign Language sign for stop, which is putting one hand out and using your other hand like a chopping motion and chop, stop. All right? Okay, so here's our rhyme. Green means go. Go, go, go. Yellow means slow. Slow, slow, slow. Red means stop. Go, go, go. Slow, slow, slow. Stop. Nice job. Let's do that one one more time. Repetition is always good to help us remember things and sometimes it's just fun to do again. All right. Green means go. Go, go, go. Yellow means slow. Slow, slow, slow. Red means stop. Go, go, go. Slow, 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 stop. Nice job, very good. All right, 
our next song is one that's been around for a long time. This is a song called Ride in My Car, and it's by a guy called Woody Guthrie, who's a very famous folk singer from a long time ago. And he wrote lots of really great music. You might have heard This Land is Your Land, This Land is My Land. He wrote that song. And this is one that he wrote specifically for children. And some of the words are a little altered just so that we can do some motions with it. But it's a fun song. All right. I'll take you riding in my car, car. Take you riding in my car, car. Take you riding in my car, car. I'll take you riding in my car. The doors on the car go open and shut. The doors on the car go open and shut. The doors on the car go open and shut. I'll take you riding in my car. Where the windshield wipers steal. The windshield wipers go swish, swish. The windshield wipers go swish, swish. The windshield wipers go swish, swish. I'll take you riding in my car. What about the horn? What do you think the horn does? That's right, it goes beep, beep. The horn on the car goes beep, beep. The horn on the car goes beep, beep. The horn on the car goes beep, beep. I'll take you riding in my car. What about the engine? Does it make a special noise? Can you do this with your lips? <laughs> Sound like a car? All right, let's do that. The engine, it goes <laughs> The engine, it goes <laughs> The engine, it goes <laughs> I'll take you riding in my car. I'll take you riding in my car, car. I'll take you riding in my car, car. Take you riding in my car, car. I'll take you riding in my car. Yay, nice job. Good job with all those motions and doing the singing. I bet you caught onto the song very well. All right. So the second book that I'd like to talk about is about using our imagination. And in this book called Puppy Truck by Brian Pinkney, a little boy gets a truck as a gift, but what he really, really wants is a puppy. So he pretends that his car is a puppy and they have a lot of fun together. They chase squirrels in the park. The truck goes rushing off and you'll have to see what happens in this book. You can check this one out at the library, Puppy Truck by Brian Pinkney. Very good. All right, and speaking of trucks, like puppy truck is a dump truck, I have a bounce for us. Bounces are great for really little kids, so infants and babies, but it's also fun for toddlers and preschoolers too, even when they get a little older. So my bouncing buddy here is Scary Squirrel, and you can always put a child in your lap in front of you, or um, uh, the child, if they're older and they don't want to be bounced, they can bounce in their seat or they can jump up and down uh, while standing or just enjoy the song, all right? So we are going to go bumpity, bumpity goes the dump truck, bumpity, bumpity goes the dump truck, bumpity, bumpity goes the dump truck, pour out the load and of course when we pour we're kind of dumping out our child one way or the other or you can lift them up high that works too let's do that one more time bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck bumpity bumpity goes the dump truck pour out the load Nice job, very good guys. Bounces are lots of fun to do, I love that. What other vehicles do you think we could get around in? What vehicles do you guys like to get in? To get around in yourself or maybe that you'd like to see on the street? Does anyone ride a bicycle? That's a good one to do, or a tricycle. Um, how about a wagon? Does anybody get wheeled around in a wagon? What about bigger vehicles? So we had the dump truck, we've seen cars. How about like a fire truck? That's a fun one. 
How about a bus? Have you ever been on a bus before with lots of people? Sometimes people use buses to get around in the city and sometimes they use them to get to school. So we're gonna do the wheels on the bus. This is one that most people know, but if you don't, you'll catch on pretty quick. And we're gonna do um, rhythm sticks with this. And today my rhythm sticks are just two pens. You can use two pencils. If you are lucky enough to have two uh, paper towel tubes, those are really fun to knock together and use as rhythm sticks. Um, if somebody in your house plays the drums, you can use drumsticks. Those are kind of fun too. You just got to make sure that the only thing that your rhythm sticks are tapping are each other gently. And we're going to do the motions with them, okay? And this is great for our hand-eye coordination and for our gripping strength and for um, doing some of that fine motor skills stuff. All right, so we're going to do the wheels on the bus. So the first one, wheels in the bus go round and round. This is harder than it looks like to get your sticks to go around each other without touching. All right. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. What else? The money on the bus. How does it go? Clink, clink, clink. Exactly. That's right. Okay. The money on the bus goes clink, clink, clank, clink, clink, clank. Clink, clink, clank, the money on the bus goes clink, clink, clank, all through the town. Let's see, how about wipers? How do the wipers go? Back and forth like that. All right. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town let's see what else hmm can the doors go open and shut how would we do that with our rhythm sticks maybe like this that's a good way all right the doors on the bus go open and shut open and shut open and shut the doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town Oh, one of my favorite verses is about the babies. Do you know what the babies do? The babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. What did the parents do? That's right. The parents on the bus go shh. The parents on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. We'll do the first one again. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Nice job, everybody give yourself a round of applause with your rhythm sticks. Woo woo woo. All right. Okay, so the last book that I want to talk to you about today is one in the Pigeon series. Does anybody know the Pigeon series? These are a series of books by Mo Willems that feature the character, the Pigeon. And there he is. The Pigeon is kind of a funny guy. <coughs> and this book is called The Pigeon Loves Things That Go. And that's what we're talking about today. But the Pigeon has his own little twist that happens during this book. So this is The Pigeon Loves Things That Go by Mo Willems. It is a smidgen of pigeon. Do you know what the word smidgen means? Smidgen means a teeny tiny bit, a little bit, a smidge or a smidgen. There's that. All right, so that is my third book suggestion that you can check out at the library and read through. All right, we're gonna get our rhythm sticks out again, one last time. And we're gonna do kind of a silly um, 
rhythm stick activity called the hippopotamus got on the city bus. Have you ever seen a hippopotamus on the bus? Not me. So we're going to use our imaginations. And this one has a, a rhythm to it. So it has a steady beat. Can you do that? Tap, 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 tap. Right. Okay. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on the city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, You're squishing us! Oh no, that hippopotamus squished all the people. Let's see what else comes on the bus. Ready to get our, our rhythm going? A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. Yes, a cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, move over. <laughs> Pretty silly. All right, who else comes on the bus? Let's find out. A snake, a snake. A snake got on the bus. Yes, a snake. A snake. A snake got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, sit down. <laughs> all right. Last verse. Let's see who it is. A sheep. A sheep. A sheep got on the bus. Yes, a sheep. A sheep, a sheep got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, back up. Yay, nice job. Give yourselves a clap with your rhythm sticks. Very good. All right, you guys. So we're just going to end with a quick little song here. I always think it's nice when the sun is shining. We can say hello to Mr. Sun. And this is our song to Mr. Sun, okay? So I'm gonna put my ukulele on. And we're gonna give it a sing. Oh, Mr. Sun. this up on the website um, my challenge to you is to play with some cars sometime this week so get out your play cars if you don't have one of those maybe you could make some out of paper towel tubes or toilet paper tubes there are lots of instructions on the internet on how to do that and you can lay out a track either um, you can use tape to to make a uh, roads or a track on your floor you can go outside and use sidewalk chalk and do that. Or maybe you have like a rug or a blanket or something that has lines on it that you can follow with your cars. So that'll be fun. All right, so we'll finish with our goodbye rhyme. 
So get ready to tickle the stars and tickle your toes and turn around and tickle your nose. Tickle, tickle, tickle. We'll reach down low and we'll reach way up high. Story time is over, so wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thank you for coming to story time.